their life with Mickey and Willie. So, when is it right to uh, to shit in front of your girlfriend? It's an interesting topic. Um, so, uh, Willie, how long would you leave it? Shit in front of them, as in like they're in the like in the bathroom with you, or just in in their what, abode. What I'm envisaging is is like in there. You know, you get you go out uh, for a date, you come back, and you have a shit in her toilet. That's a risky proposition <laughs> to do to do it early on. I think because a clog would be catastrophic. You know what I mean? Like a clogged toilet or something like that. Like, how do you come back from that? If it's With like no date one, two or two, three. Right? Yeah. I mean, you can't. Plungers you better, are lacking if you in see a plunger the in the bathroom, then yeah. I, I give you a flag. little bit more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. I'd be pretty sketched out for the first and, like uh, month and yeah. a half. And the thing is in Thailand as well, we're dealing with a lot of studio apartments. So and you, I, like pretty shitty Plumbing in general, you know, pretty shitty plumbing as well. So that's that's double the uh, sort of. Don't use the paper. Whatever you do, <laughs> don't use the paper. Yeah. I use, got a use confession to make on that. I, I always throw the paper down in the toilet. I, I never, do. I never put it's it in the bin. It's disgusting to put it in open air, isn't it? it? it it's, yeah, it's, having like real human shit in open flies. air. Bin. Do, do you try to avoid looking in there too? Because like I, I do. just don't want to see somebody's tiny piece of shit on toilet paper, mm. like. Yeah. That's alarming to me. To be fair, I think I think nowadays most toilets can cope with with shitty paper. But <laughs> but just getting back to shit in front of your girlfriend, um, my wife does come in the toilet now when I'm having a turd. But uh, you guys are married. Yeah, we're married and we've been together for three or four years. You got nothing left to prove. Uh, and, and I've got a theory <laughs> that she likes the smell of my farts and shit. Wow! <laughs> like she actually quite. Well, that's likes why she it. married you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because when I fart and stuff, she kind of like smiles and laughs, and I think she's secretly getting like a bit of a, a bit of a sort of. That's some lovely shit, bro. <laughs> T- tastes like chicken, you right? Might, <laughs> you might just take this thing a bit further. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> But there is just something funny about farting and shitting, though, you know? But like, there like, is, definitely. Like, and it cuts across every culture in the world. I'm pretty sure you could go to the middle of Africa yeah. and I, f- I, fart real hard and everyone would laugh. I, I do it with my nephews, uh, nieces up country, little, uh, yeah. um, little uh, Leo and, and Cal Hom. Basically, just fucking let rip in front of them and they just, like, <laughs> just don't know what to do. And then they start giggling. And then it's like, Lung Mike, Lung Mike, Todd Man, Todd Man. <laughs> Fucking okay, brilliant. Have you ever taken a shit on one of those little Cambodian toilets that are like n- near... The squatter? Yeah, yeah the squatter, squatter toilets. Yeah, it's the, tough, man. Those are it, terrible. That, that's that should be an are. Olympic sport. What's, yeah. what's the best method? I mean... <laughs> I've literally never done it. I, I've, I mean, oh, I've man. had to shit bad and I've been able to avoid it every time. The, 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 the key that is... That used to be the toilet at my wife's mom's house, wow. so I had to shit like that. The Sorry, key is Jim. when you go in, you need to check the back of the door. Now, there should be a hook on the back of the door. If there's a hook on the back of the door, you're okay because you have to remove... Your, your your jeans uh, and your underpants God, and put it on the so hook. Much oh, work, yeah, that's right? really. And now, if, yeah, you, if and you don't do that, because well, you shit. think about it, if even you if don't you... do that, you're you're, you're fucked. Yeah, because you're gonna shit into you're gonna shit into your own pants. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it's like a toilet in a toilet. So, no. <laughs> so just make sure there's a hook and but, use it. But taking your trousers off in like a cubicle, there's going to be feces on the floor and it's stuff. In wet floor, floor. And wet floor. Wet. it's always like yeah. a mini lake of right yeah. where you're shitting. It's, it's, but but it's make terrible. sure your clothes are safe because you can you can clean. You, that's why the, the water's there with the little bucket. You can yeah. clean yourself. You, you literally have to take a shower. It's you, <laughs> you, you have to do it and then just shower yourself and then get dressed again. There's no that's other way of doing it? it. Yeah, it's like a full shower and then yeah. And on top of that, you have to squat and like basically wreck your knees if you're a oh, white man. guy. You know what right. I mean? Like I can't squat like that. Some for... people just sit on them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know what the worst thing is though? <laughs> no. The worst thing is I we I used to de- well I still do design warehouses and I used to design them in the UK for Tesco and they used to have a lot of Muslim um, and like uh, Pakistani uh, and Indian uh, staff and they they used to have to put signs up there to say don't stand on top of the yeah the English. You have, you have those signs stand. here. Yeah. Like, the, like yeah. they put their feet on the toilet seat. On the seat. top, yeah, and they used to yeah. break all the seats. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. 
There was yeah. a sign, I was at the bus station the other week, and there was a sign in the cubicle there with just a picture of someone standing <laughs> on the toilet seat with a, just a, 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 a cross through it. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the uh, little sultry uh, tones you can hear there. Um, well, let's introduce ourselves first. I'm Mickey, the conduit in the freaks and geeks, CBT, fag, whatever. Willie, who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Willie, uh, Willie the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Back again. And uh, our third wheel. Ed James, uh, Bangkok writer and uh, 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 shitter, <laughs> <laughs> on, on, <laughs> accomplished shitter on a, in Asian toilets. Professional. Yeah, yeah. Uh, li- literally shit all all around the globe with with no real problems. Um, and yeah, we've got Jordan. Jordan Perez, how you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, my name is Jordan from uh, United States, living here in Bangkok six months. Been watching a lot from of podcasts. The USA. Just, yep, just wanted to try it out. Don't get me mixed up with Donald Trump. I have real hair. <laughs> yeah, you've got a nice head of hair, actually. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 28 years old. Nice. You're not doing bad to an air. You look good. You yeah, look thank good. you. Um, so, you, but you're not you're not new to Southeast Asia, right? You spent a little bit of time hanging around in some seedy parts of the seedy yeah, regions. very seedy parts. <laughs> you know, I uh, my first uh, touch down here in Southeast Asia was uh, Vientiane, Lao. Yeah. Now what that, what made you start there? Uh, well, you know what? I knew I wanted to go to Southeast Asia. It'd be a good stepping stone to teaching abroad. Easy win. Yeah, yeah, easy in. So I had a job offer in Hanoi or Vientiane, Lao, and. You know, I went to the YouTube videos, and I was like, I saw the YouTube videos, and Hanoi just looked like millions of motorbikes. You know, and, and I've been to Hanoi, actually, and it is what the YouTube video showed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Vientiane there's like, oh, it's a quiet, it's a sleepy capital of Southeast Asia. And I was like, yeah, I, I need something to start off as, you know what I mean? Something to I just like it, yeah. get my feet in the door. So Yeah, get yeah. your bearings. Yeah. But I, I've, I've never been to Laos, I must say. Oh, man, it's only, an, it's only an hour been. away, man. No, sorry, that's a lie. No. Oh, you're already lying. No, we yeah. just met each other, man. <laughs> yeah. No, that is a lot. Yeah, no, I did. I did spend one, one or two days in Laos at a mine, so a, like a, a, a v- copper mine. Visa oh. run, right? Yeah. And, no, I had to go oh. to a copper mine to to do some work. But, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, to do some design work. He just but, loves copper mines. He goes, oh, okay. yeah, man, the tourism. pollution and the sludge and the way they wreck the uh, right. local uh, right. ecosystem. I just, I'm all over it. <laughs> right. It makes no, me hard. It's actually <laughs> funny you mentioned that. The, the mining business is on its way out in Laos. They're actually becoming more so. eco-friendly. They basically kicked out all the mining companies yeah. wow. which is good and bad it's good for the environment but at the same time it's already they, they, like there was a lot of there were, these miners were getting paid a lot of money to right. be in Lao and bringing yeah. in a lot of local money and they you know they're booting them out oh, and a lot fuck. of businesses are suffering you know bars mostly you know the miners <laughs> yeah. you know they're, yeah. they're working all week and have a you know big drink when they're off so yeah yeah, yeah I, it was it was pretty cool actually. I stayed in like uh, I was there for two two nights I think, and we stayed in like the digs on on the actual site, the mine site, which were like these huts. And uh, there were loads of Aussie guys there. We, Aussies are pretty fun uh, yeah, they are. because it was an Australian <laughs> company actually, and we just used to get pissed. Uh, finish at five o'clock, go to the little like uh, rec recreation area, and just be allowed get all wrecked fuck, in the right. wreck. Get wrecked in the wreck, <laughs> right. James. Yeah, you're right. Well, you actually know that uh, Australians are. They have a. Yeah, sometimes it could be dis- uh, described as a, a derogative term, but you know they're called palms. No, they call English guy poms. Yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's poms. Right, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. Poms. Prisoner, we're pri- prisoner poms. of prisoner of Mother England. Oh, that's what an Aussie yeah, is. Yeah, because no, you know, no, no, that's what Aussies call English people. Well, but, but they, they, they call they call Aussie people call English people that, but. It, yeah. it, it, oh, in the actual it, truth, it. it's, it's like this. Right. It's, it's like a, this exchange, you know yeah. what I mean? But it, it really is for Australian people because they, in history, they sent the yeah. uh, prisoners of England to colonize Australia Correct. and set up set up a government in Again, Australia. I love the history lesson from Jordan. Now, yeah. no, this is great. That's why we. Call Sorry, them. I'm a teacher. You know, sometimes, <laughs> no, no, sometimes, cool, sometimes it sometimes it comes up. <laughs> <Classes and session. laughs> That's why we call Australians uh, thieves and uh, and criminals. Because, yeah, but, yeah but it's crazy though, isn't it, to think that we sent all our criminals over to Australia to these colonies, and that basically is Australia. They're all. Well, I'm not saying they're all uh, like descendants of criminals, but I guess quite well, a few. A lot of them are. <laughs> but, uh, th- their history there with the Aboriginals is is, is terrible. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. James, yeah. I, you probably know more than me, and you as a teacher as well, Jordan. But basically, they they used to steal the Aboriginal kids, didn't they? Yep, and yep, take yep. them out of the homes mm-hmm. and say you're not fit to look after your own children. And what's weird about Aboriginal culture is there's no central language. You know that, like. 
if there's one tribe of Aborigines and there's another like one mile away, they speak a completely different language. Yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah, that's true yeah. with Native Americans yeah. in that to is, a large that degree is, that as well. Probably in the jungle, degree, yeah. Yeah, 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 I guess so. Well, you know, civilization wasn't as big as it is now and on a global scale, you know what I mean? Like sure. you, one, one mm. language, one culture, and before it was pockets of cultures, you know what I mean? Yeah. There, there wasn't yeah. one central government. Right, uh, like North America's huge. Yeah. I grew up near a Indian reservation, but there's, thousands of other ones you know they don't were right. hanging out together yeah. back in the they, they reckon actually that Aus- australia is the cradle of civilization now that actually more so not than africa africa wow, yeah there's, really? there's cave paintings in australia that go back shit tons of of uh years ago and and you wonder about that like africa you know that they say it was millions of years ago how the how the heck did they get from africa to australia i wonder that yeah P- pangea over, bro. over the bodies I don't what want to get that? to alien conspiracy <laughs> theories the, yet, but it when, seems when it seems like all the no, no. What it's, yeah, it's talking about when all the oh, continents right, were right, together. Right, right. Yeah. Pangea, okay. that you pull out that yeah. saw it on social media the other wow. day. Somebody talking about how That's like, nice Pangea, but, like, yeah. it's too fucking far to get everywhere. Like I miss Pangea or something. Right, <laughs> right, right. I think I think you're thinking of sp- panspermia. Well, yeah. <laughs> See, honestly, that, that, that's that's the theory that uh, panspermia is that we a life was seeded on Earth from aliens, basically just micros and shit that, well, you know, that just, landed in, on meteors. Yeah, and, well, just like in Earth. Bangkok, they're spraying shit in the air. You know, what if one of someone's <laughs> yeah. just sprayed shit in the air and humans are everywhere? Along is the is Earth, that why you know? there's, there's pollution? <laughs> is that why we've got hundred? Do you know what? I, I'm obsessed with this app now. Um, Have you been checking it? Air visual. Air uh, visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Well, oh, okay. We're well, not bad today. It's actually orange, uh, ninety nine. But the other oh, day that was bad. like one hundred and seventy. Wow. But look at this, right? Top. Uh, hang on, go back. Top ten. Look at that. Kabul, Afghanistan, two hundred and thirty three. Yeah. It's like purple, man. Yeah. So, you know, I go running every day. You might not think to look at me. I'm a bit of a fat bastard, <laughs> but, but I really do. Willie will attest Good, yeah. to that. I've seen it. Um. So I basically met this guy the other day. Uh, he says you're wasting your time. If you go out and you run in, in this in this pollution, you're doing more damage. Than yeah. that. And I'm like, fucking hell. That's like the only thing that makes me feel good and makes me feel like I'm doing something. Right. But mask I still up, get brother. endorphins anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking of getting one of those. Do, does anyone here wear a mask? Uh, no, but I've seen some intense one this past few. I've yeah, only been so back like, in town right, for a few days. Right. And it looks it's, like you're a biohazard like, person, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wear like one of those. End of the world suits. type, type yeah. mask. Yeah. Hazmat yeah. suit. <laughs> well, I had a, I had a teacher this week really go off on on how some of these you know what they call the surgical mask which is just the mask that just covers your face and she was like that's terrible for you the, you know you Does breathe it do in, anything? You, you breathe in and and and, and, and actually it, restri- it restricts your outflow of yeah, the carbon of, dioxide of, of, yeah so yeah. so basically you're just breathing in all this nasty shit and it's going that's right, it's actually, going yeah. right it's going right so back you put in a plastic bag over your head to try and commit suicide <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. On a couple of occasions <laughs> and you keep breathing in and out you will actually pass out because the carbon dioxide so no there's some truth to that yeah 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 so sure, uh, i wore a mask and then when she said that i was like well i'm better off just breathing this nasty shit <laughs> do uh <laughs> do you guys feel like you can notice when it's really shitty like like i don't really notice it much yeah. so no not, not until somebody actually told me and then i've been looking around and i do notice it now sometimes yeah. i mean like when you get a panoramic shot like you can tell but like if you're down on Sukhumvit, the air always feels like shit to me, yeah. and it, I don't know. It's all just a conspiracy. Whoever's... Uh, whoever, <laughs> Here we go. Da, whoever made this that is, later. is also <laughs> selling those masks. Yeah. So they see <laughs> where in the world they have a shortage of masks, and they pump up the air so you're it's yellow, it's wrong, okay James, there. Those masks have run out they, everywhere now, yeah. Yeah. and those air purifying machines, you can't get them now. They're, wow. they're all sold out. Well, that's, I'm thinking uh, of getting one for my house. That's because no, the, the 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 you know the businesses don't think people are actually going to buy them because normal Thai people don't buy them, you know. Mm. And then you know everybody raises alarm and all of a sudden everybody's buying it and they buy all the supply, you know, and, and a snap of a finger. I, I had a cool conspiracy today that you know everyone's doing this ten year thing on Facebook. Oh, 10 oh years God, yeah, God. yeah the, all the, of it's, us. <laughs> it's it's someone someone set it off because they're developing an AI of facial uh, oh, aging, um, aging. I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah actually, yeah, I came up. On my news feed today, I was, <laughs> I, I, you know, because I, I actually when those big little data. challenges, these big ALS data, yeah. bucket challenges, all these damn challenges come up, I look at him like, God, how stupid do you have to be to follow up, you know, like the, you know, the vermin <laughs> off the hill to do the same <laughs> shit. Uh, and, and, <laughs> it's funny how they call it a challenge too. Like, yeah, like what challenge photo? is it? But yeah. yeah, yeah, pour a bucket of cold water <laughs> on you. On, yeah, on I, the same <laughs> segment I was listening to, um, they basically said that all these things, like you know. You, they, they say your get your Star Wars 
uh, or or whatever your Star Wars droid name by putting your postcode and your middle name, and then do something else by putting your mum's maiden name and this, and it's they're just, just collecting data, data. Right. They're collecting yeah. data off you to fucking fish and, your and, passwords and, 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 and that, that has yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. That's what they're doing. They're fucking fishing data to you steal your shit. Yeah, they... <laughs> and it's like when you, when you apply for a job nowadays and they ask for your date of birth. They're like, why do you need to know my date of birth? My age, yeah. yeah. But you've got everything else about me. My age, yeah, like my name, my name, where I've been for the last 20 years. And, you know, they never reply to you because whoever put out that job advert is working for big data. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's weird, man. No, yeah, I, I completely agree with that. You know, you you do one of these damn things online where it's like uh, figure out which uh, house you're in in Harry Potter or some bullshit like that. Like, who gives yeah. a shit, man? I don't fuck. I know, you know. And who are you? If I were like, to, yeah. Kirk or Pika- What's the other one? I don't watch Star Wars. Star Star Wars. Yeah, Star just Trek. Trek. Yeah, <laughs> but just sure these there's... stupid things, and then you got to enter in all these all these factors about yourself. It could be data collection. Uh, it fucking days, mate. I'm telling, but I mean, I'm it you. depends what you use we'll these social fucked. media platforms for. You know what I mean? Like person like me, I don't do any of that shit. I don't enter my information. But there are a lot of things that people use on those things that you have to enter your birth, like Tinder. You know, some of us here in Bangkok use Tinder. Oh, you have to you have to enter your information on that, and it, it actually you have to do it on Facebook. You can log in on Facebook, so your data is out there. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm 28. You know, sometimes you know you gotta use Tinder. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you think South you know, Asia? I did. Yeah. And, and you don't lie I, about I, your age on Tinder. What's going on? <laughs> well, well, fortunately, I don't have to lie about my age. 28 years old gives you big know, data. Yeah. Though. <laughs> but I mean, you can do a Facebook login, you know, and, and, and the, and the creepy part about that is like, you can go away for a long time and then you could say log in with Facebook like two years later and, yeah. and it pops right back up. All your data's there. That's pretty freaking and, and shit. Then, and then they're sharing that or selling that data to yeah. nefarious people that can then advertise against it to you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big cesspool. It's well, people the funny part is people are actually up in arms like, Man, you can't sell my data. You can't. You can't do this. But yet they're freely willing to give it. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a it's a complete contradictory to, to 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 everything that we're fighting for 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 our for our personal space yeah. and all that shit. You yeah, know, people willfully of, screw themselves all the man with shit they sign up, because, up to terms yeah, and conditions because it's free or really convenient to. Uh, to uh, use a company that is uh, monetizing you by just selling your data, you know, like it's all these free products and we just love free products, you right. know, and then <laughs> we don't figure it out till it's too late. Like think back to when we all started using Facebook. I don't even know if they had a business model at that point or we had no idea right. what they were going to do with all of our data at that point. And now, mm. you know? oh, now Facebook is this fuck, this big bear in the room. Like yeah. watch out for Facebook. You Could know, you imagine like, 20 years ago, if someone was to uh, come up to your door and just, Knock on the door and say, I want to know your name, um, your age, where you live, what you like, yeah, all yeah, your favorite yeah, friends, yeah. Um, your likes, all the likes, conversations you have. You would close yeah. the door on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And now we're just, you know, 20 years later, we're just giving oh, it away. I never right. thought of that, man. That's well, the thing is the yeah. screen, you know what I mean? We're sitting behind this screen where there's not a person in front of us. And, like, even with these, like, the, the catfish thing, you know what I mean? People just see a screen and they're, they're feeding off this this information that comes from the screen. Mm. And they don't realize the hazards and the dangers that comes from actually who's on the other side of that screen. Every move you make, everything you do online is is recorded you right, know what i mean right, like whether right. it's google or right. whomever your browse it's, history it's your, so your cookies e- yeah. all this all, all your, this thing, all that cash, stuff all and, of and it. what you don't know is what might be like forbidden or illegal in 10 years time and shit that they can go back right you know like certain words or certain stuff you say or certain fucking allegiances yeah. or groups might be illegal and if right. you were part of that 10 years ago you and they don't know smart. what's what, what's research really as well and what's like gen, general genuine interest you know for the podcast you're going to be um researching a lot of like black magic and conspiracy stuff for my when i write Fuck, fiction yeah. when i write novels i'm looking at ways to kill people and stuff right. you know? well, <laughs> well, it's said, all there yeah. in my history but i, I search actually... child molestation and shit all exactly. the time <laughs> it's fake it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah right. you're right because because you're an author you'll be like ways to kill people and how to get rid of bodies history. and <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on some lists. Best way to decompose a body in a bathtub. You know. That's, yeah, you're on a list. Do, does anyone here think they're on a list? I think I'm on some list somewhere. Oh, we're I'm all on a list. It's just, yeah. it's just what list and how many lists. Yeah. Yeah. I've been somewhat trying to fall off the face of the planet in some aspects. You know what I mean? Like I, I've 
cease to exist my bank accounts in the United States. So if I pay bills, I pay it through my mom's account or something like that. So I yeah. I have somewhat fallen off the radar and I'm not making any, you know, substantial income to have to pay uh, taxes in Laos. What, what, what does that look like if you go back to the U.S.? Because it, in England... Uh, what I'm having to do now is is start to look to pay my national insurance. I don't know what the equivalent is in the U.S. Social Security, but uh, if you miss so many years, then I won't get my state pension. So I'm having to like go it's hard back because we have start. different words for all those. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I think it's Social Security. National yeah, insurance. to pay into Social Security. I don't know how much time you can miss in the states. Uh, I I pay taxes still. Do, do you still pay yours, James? So your national I insurance. Pay, I pay tax in America. Funny enough, oh, uh, shit. My, for my Thank royalties. Um, but, but do you pay uh, your NI for your pension? Um, no, I don't think I. I maintain a bank account and I have uh, money coming in and out, but I don't contribute as far as I'm aware to yeah. national insurance So when anymore. you're 68 or whatever you, 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 your pension might be quite small mm. uh, if, you, if, you, if your national insurance payments are up to date you get £168 uh, per, which is you get about £7,500 per, per week, about per week. So, But there's a lot of naysayers that say like that won't even be there by the time we all. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. right now, it's already jumped from sixty-five to sixty-eight. Yeah, right. my mum. My mum was dead when she was seventy, and my dad was dead when he was sixty-seven. Right. right. So the if, government loves it when that happens, so they don't yeah, have to pay yeah. out. Uh, right. So I'm thinking about topping up my national insurance. Oh shit! I might not even be around to fucking see it. Right. I mean, but Do, is, uh, is, is in that, the UK, is it, was there like a baby boomer generation the way there was in the States after World War II where there's a, a huge amount of people that are retiring right now yeah. in the UK? I and think it's so. really stressing. The, the lucky ones. <laughs> the, the ones that bought property for like £20,000. Right. They're, 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 <laughs> they're the luckiest generation in the history of the world. In the history of the world. And not only that, they all got really good pensions, uh, like uh, company it, it, pensions. Back then, either like, at least in the States, like you didn't, you didn't have to go into debt to go to college. You you mm -hmm. could uh, afford a, a house and and low low interest rate like everything was just very. You didn't like if you were married. You didn't both have to work. You exactly. know, one person could stay. Yeah, yeah. 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 the stay at home mom. Also, when, uh, on that note, uh, I remember you seeing some things online about things back in the seventies and sixties where like. People, are, you know, the parents back then were like, yeah, I worked a college job and I paid my way through college. And, you know, I remember flipping some burgers at my college and there was no damn way in hell I was paying for my college. It's too damn expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, have, I'd have to work there for 10 years to pay for my college, you know. Well, yeah. it's, it's, I, was, I watch this money talk show on, on YouTube sometimes and this this 31 year old uh, called in and her and her partner were like uh, $980,000 in debt. They were like 31 and, and, and a million bucks. Yeah, yeah, basically Holy a million bucks shit. in debt. They had two, two, they've both been to college, both yeah. been to university, and they both bought a car and all this shit and credit cards, and they had a million, yeah. quit, million dollars worth of debt at 31. You're so fucked. I can find it for you now. All yeah. the comments and him, he was he he basically couldn't believe it. But you know, they say that's like the next bubble, right? Yeah, it's, it's like the, a, it, what it is. Debt. It's fiat debt. fiat currency. You know? oh. they, they say it's fiat currency. Yeah. You know this this currency that you know that we're going far away from the gold standard or the you know the actual physical proof of money to this imaginary proof of money, mm. and that's why the the United States is in debt. You know, so so much Hold money. It. You know, yeah. Sorry, this is my first time. Uh, so you know, there's there's this there's this fake money that's out there, and that's why these bubbles burst is because there's yeah. there's no actual gold standard behind Got away it. From the you gold know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just print this shit. Now. That's why in the news you hear Russia and China are stacking up their gold reserves. You know what I mean? So when, when China you know, has for a long time, I heard the other day that for every like bar of gold in the world, there's like three owners because people because you know you get these gold stocks and shit. People are people are even backing that like, shit up now. Like they've resold the same gold stock again and again, and and like if everyone was to cash out right. and want their gold, there wouldn't be enough gold to cover. Right, um, that's interesting. Yeah, and I apparently America of of like like got their gold things and split them open and put like oh, they died like lead and shit. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Re resold. <laughs> there's loads of these I don't gold know how they bar. can know that, but I like that. Honestly, Fools man, gold. There's loads of <laughs> bars of gold around that are fil filled with like tungsten or some other in inside. <laughs> Serious man, That's it's hilarious. a big problem. If you Google it, it's a big one, dude. Yeah, uh, the whole market cap of gold though is like pretty. Is it less than Bitcoin? No, it's like. Um, oh no, yeah, it's like twenty trillion, isn't it? Seven trillion or something like that. So, like, oh, is it? Yeah, there's five it's Olympic like swimming pool size X of gold. What Bitcoin is, yeah. There's five Olympic swimming pool sizes of gold in the world, and that's it. I thought it would be much more than that. Well, it's very hard to. 
It's expensive to mine, hard to find. Yeah. But that does seem really low to me. And, and is yeah. it going to run out? I mean, what, that's what I think. Is it going to run out? But well, surely it keeps making itself as well, right? Right, but you would think that would be slow. But then, like, the next iteration is, like, uh, they think that you mine asteroids once we get the technology. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Platinum and gold. Or go, go to Titan where it where rains diamonds and uh, spread some freedom <laughs> yeah. at Titan. Did anyone see The Ballad of Buster Scruggs on Netflix? No. no. Oh, man. Don't uh, do the Netflix. Uh, it's ba- Okay. Uh, there's basically loads of different stories, and there's this one about uh, prospecting in, in America in like the 1800s, whatever. Yeah. You used to find massive nuggets. Like, right. right. That's why everybody moved from the Big East nuggets. Coast to the West yeah, Coast. Yeah, San Francisco the Gold Rush. Yeah. It would have been a badass time to be like, all right. You know, my job in New York sucks. Let's fucking just go west. Get a camp, right. get a yeah, tent, and just a donkey. cruise out there. <laughs> yeah. In mu- in, There's in, not know, much the pain into it. You take your pan out there and your right. pickaxe. And they said the people that made money in those gold rushes <laughs> selling it, shovels. Yeah. Selling the ones, buckets. Is the ones selling the supplies. <laughs> yeah. Or well, they're probably the heads of JP oh, Morgan right, okay, today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's how the economies ended up working. I, uh, that's funny, though. Yeah. The guys that are selling the equipment to mine the gold. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They did make some money. Yeah. You're right about that. Yeah, there's a lot about that if you look at the world generally, and you know, brokers, bankers, stuff like that. You know, yeah. the guys, not the guys oh, owning yeah. the gold, the guys selling it. Like, right. like, like for cryptocurrency, the people that sold the fucking mining rigs. The guys right. mining it. Yeah, right. <laughs> those the are the ones sold that became the rigs, man. that became like uh, industry leaders. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Like getting those graphic cards, yeah. they were like three times as much as. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, uh, I did a, you know, when I was looking for the podcast actually online, I, I noticed you, you're in the cryptocurrency business, correct? Yeah. 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 You were, yeah, exactly. Where is the past tense? Because uh, I had some friends who did the cryptocurrency business and they were boasting about how, you know, big it was and how everything's mm-hmm. going sky high. And then now you're, you're hearing in the news, it's like, yeah, we've had a it's year. It's bottomed of, out, and then year every every week it's a it's a it's, it's bottoming out. You know, it's you know. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, yeah. We've seen the bottom now. And we're only going back up from here, and right. then it goes down. Here, right, man. but it's what fun. you know, like when I when I get to thinking like an outer perspective of everything, do you think that could have been like a uh, a rich man's game? You know, like the 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 guy who controls the slot machine. And everybody's paying into it this sl- really, this yeah. slot machine, and then the guy who says, "Hey, uh, we're going to take this slot machine out now," we, have fun. you know, and then yeah. uh, the people who are waiting on the jackpot, you know, are sit there on the sidelines drinking beers and you know boasting about how good it was, you know. Yeah, I think you're dead right. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? What was his plan? And you know, it, all you'd need, all all you would need is a is a. <laughs> I can say this is funny. All you'd need is time is like a time machine. Like all you'd need is a time machine. <laughs> but if you just go back, I mean, there's no skill involved, is there? In like, just go back and buy some like a thousand bitcoins. And well, be, you could say the same about Apple stock, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. Whoop, wipe that. Oh, that, that was a dead. Well, I don't know. If this road. is terrible to say for for you know. I guess it's a podcast. You know, people can say you're a horrible person for saying it. But when I remember when I was in the United States, people are using Bitcoin to buy things off the Silk Road. Yeah. You guys yeah. remember the Silk Road? Yep. Yeah, Russell, you know, I was I was part of that cool. that 2009 2013 brave. You know, we were going to raise, you know, partying yeah, to Tiest, Tiesto, you know, all these yeah. big things. And that was huge. The only, the only way at one point that you can get drugs was through the Silk Road. Mm-hmm. And the only way that you can purchase these drugs was via, was Bitcoin. via Bitcoin. That's actually a really good um, throwback to you saying uh, future – in the future, they'll be able to go back and look at uh, old technology or old stuff that you did on the internet. Like at mm. that point, they thought Bitcoin was anonymous, but now they can use all sorts of analytics and probably track who was buying those yeah, drugs and yeah, shit like yeah. that. Right. But they don't. I mean, that's such small beans. I don't think they care about it now. They right. caught the guy that started yeah, the, the market. Yeah, the big guy. And what is he? A big mogul from San Francisco, a lawyer or something like that? He right. Got caught in Thailand. Right. No, he's in. He's oh, in SF. Okay. I, but I don't know. A lot of people get caught in Thailand. <laughs> <Somebody, laughs> you're thinking of the Canadian guy who yeah. got, got. He had like a couple of Porsches and was living a really affluent lifestyle in yeah. like the suburbs of Bangkok or somewhere. And they found him. Uh, he got arrested. It was like a CIA oh, operation, oh, okay. and he killed himself oh. apparently in oh. the holding cell in the in the Thai jail. Uh, but he had yeah, he had millions from the Here dark we web selling. Wow. Drugs. Oh, Alexandra Casey. So Thai police, yeah. uh, 26-year-old Canadian was found dead in his Thai police oh, cell young. this week. This was 2017, 15th of July. Uh, was wanted in the US for allegedly running a massive dark web marketplace for drugs and other contraband. 
Yeah. Uh, Alexander K. Kazes or whatever. He was faced drug trafficking and laundering charges. Uh, I don't know which site. That's what's funny is they, they they shut down the Silk Road, but ten more popped up. Like Alpha I, Bay. I've, Alpha Bay. I've seen to a I've been to a, a dark web page before just to like for fun. Go you download Tor Tor. browser. <laughs> <and go laughs> well. I've never bought anything. I, I'd like to, but uh, <laughs> and, uh, apparently it's really know. slow. I've, I've never been on the dark web. Yeah, it, 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 to, it is. It's it. definitely not an experience like just hopping on Google and yeah, searching yeah, yeah. and all that. Right. All the addresses are just wacky. The yeah. shit that you type in, you know, but. Um, yeah, I mean that's a thriving scene. This is though. interesting. You can sell. You can. Yeah. Buy, they buy like. I remember seeing like tons of stolen credit card numbers on there. Oh damn! Uh, really? Yeah. All sorts of like. Uh, you can buy like fifty oh, credit cards. All sorts of like different fraud shit. schemes, like uh, malware. Rooms. You could buy malware or stuff like that. Wow! Mm. Wow! I nearly. Yeah. I I thought for a while when I was skint about five years ago. I thought oh, I might just go and buy like fifty credit card numbers. <laughs> but but then, but then There's you have to like. Get this is a podcast. Yeah, how, it how is you not real. Somewhere, so you'd have to like get it to live to next door or something and say right. oh did you get my parcel and, well, and then if they get raided like, well if there's credit card numbers <laughs> that would just be a file right wouldn't they just send you a file yeah they but no no but then you have to actually use it oh they give you oh jesus you have to yeah. actually use it to buy something yeah and then that, which would be so nerve-wracking i mean like yeah. you know what i mean like that would that would suck yeah I don't like, know. joe rogan said his card got stolen didn't really? he a couple of uh, this week and apparently they were just buying loads of shit for a dollar like in india and shit like that <laughs> Thought, what, what's the fucking point? If you steal a credit card, you want to get one big purchase or a couple right, of massive right, purchases that right. you can resell, like a car. Right. Or Which that's hard to do. I think you know what I mean. Like the capital controls on anything above. If you want to take ten thousand dollars or more out of your bank, like you got to KYC. You know, there's all sorts of bullshit about that stuff. <laughs> yeah, KYC. But I guess you would want to <laughs> get small purchases so that it remains unknown for someone who, someone who's rich. Yeah. Like if you so buy, if, if you're able yeah. to buy Joe Rogan's. Thing you know you, you yeah. want to do it yeah. like Joe Rogan's, uh, you know I don't know how often he checks his bank statement, but yeah. I mean if he's like seeing if he dollar know, charges, he would say, oh yeah, that was a service charge. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Like, if he didn't know his card was missing, for example, it could have gone on for ages. I, I had somebody. I don't know then. if it's identity stolen, but somebody was taking small like i don't know make a hundred dollars out of my account every month for like 15 months and i had no idea because i don't <laughs> really it was, right it was a couple of years ago <laughs> i mean because i get direct deposit i was making money and i just didn't pay close attention to everything right. i was spending money you know and then i looked back i was like oh, what the fuck are all of these <laughs> right but that's the brilliant thing about a bank is that they insure all that shit. So you just fill there out the go. report and you get your right. money back. It's very, yeah, very thoughtful that they only took $100. Uh, well, and it was regular. Do you, you think that was their technique? It's, it's almost like an took, algorithm. If yeah. they took 500 I, I probably would have noticed yeah, pretty right, quickly, you know? Right. So there's yeah. probably, he's got like 10 of you. Yeah. You know, he's got 10 yeah. cars. I would have taken like $5 or something. Yeah. Like 1,000 <laughs> people. That's the best way. James, uh, tell us about this um, lady boy that was found in found in the back seat of a car what, what happened? it was nothing Ooh, to do with me that. it was yeah. nothing to do with me i wasn't even in <laughs> oh, oh, that night. disclaimer I, 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 I well they said the, the suspect author. hasn't been caught yet so i, I thought you were the lead uh, <laughs> reporter like at the scene so, so this was the most bizarre um and totally toy story i've seen in the news in 18 years of living here it was absolutely extraordinary um, there was a, um, <laughs> a, a, a a transgender woman, let's say, um, found in the back seat of a car that had been submerged into a clong Smiley into the face, canal. Uh, she wasn't wearing her um, uh, uh, dress or pants or whatever. Uh, so she trousers or tra- whatever lady boys knickers, wear. knickers, right? <laughs> but she was wearing knickers. She, oh, was, she wearing was wearing knickers, wearing and knickers. she okay. had like a top on, um, and she was in the back seat. And the police also found um, some Yabba pills in, in, in the car. Crazy they, pills. They found a, um, a, a policeman's um, helmet. helmet or cap. And an army helmet. And a, an army cap as yeah. well. Um, so it had everything. It had uh, everything Thailand's famous for. It had drugs. It had bad driving. Um, and it, it had, had police <laughs> involved. It had police <laughs> corruption. <laughs> it had, um, you know, army involvement. Um, Lady boys. Got toy. Good toy, yeah, obviously. Toy, yeah. So <laughs> everything that you see in crime fiction, uh, it, Bangkok-based crime fiction, was in this story. So are there any theories? She was in the back seat, right? So do you think maybe she was like giving someone head or something in the back seat, and the car rolled in, or maybe she, maybe the driver like did one or something? Or was anybody what, else what, found in the car? What, or what, just... What's the theory, James? Well, I mean, she could have been actually driving. It's possible, and. In the story, oh, it, 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 the it, didn't, it didn't say who um, the car belonged to, and that's key. Right. If you find out whose car it is, yeah. um, it, it's not so much of a mystery. 
Um, but she could have actually swerved off the road and uh, been thrown into the back seat. It's possible. She could have been on her own, but unlikely. I, I yeah. think... Um, <laughs> and then the piranhas in the water, like, nibbled her jeans off. It something. already sounds far-fetched. <laughs> or she got, you know, her jeans were caught in the, the seat belt and she had to take them off to escape and she only got as far as the back seat. It's very unlikely. I think, mm. more, I think your theory is much more probable. That there was some kind Someone of, uh, you know, um, sexual passenger seat um, fellatio Maybe there's like a joke, like an place. Englishman, an Irishman, a Scottishman. There was a policeman, an army man, and a, and a lady boy in a car. What, guess what happened? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible for the family of the, the right, woman involved. Right, Obviously, right. we shouldn't really joke about it too much. Right. But, now, let's talk uh, about it. But the, the fact that those... The, 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 my theory was, and it's really bizarre, um, I thought perhaps there was um, a, a gangster... Um, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, conflict going on in town. Yeah. They were both selling drugs. Turf uh, war. Turf mm, war. Yeah. Mm. So and, sending a message. And maybe one of the um, gang leaders um, was into um, transgender women. That was mm-hmm. his thing. And maybe he was double dealing in drugs to both the police and the I like army. It. I like so it. they they took the caps. They put them in the car. Um, they 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 um, they killed his favourite girlfriend, left her in the car as, as a warning. Don't do that again. That's a good, that's a good idea. Yeah, wow. That Are could, you uh, by chance an author? <laughs> detective author. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a book. Man. But she could have been just driving. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, that. yeah. You know, you know, John. He has like written two or three books. James A. Newman. Look him up. He's he's a proper good author. But, yeah, I'll have um, to do that. That that's pretty cool, man. I like it. So yeah, some kind of gangster turf war. And like could have I'm been. sending a message to his. Uh... Could have been a funny thing about the caps because normally um, police and army headwear have serial numbers inside, so you can, uh, you know, you, you, you trace it back, trace it to the officer concerned. Um, and then all you had to do, you know, if you do, if you weren't looking for the police officer who didn't have a hat that yeah. morning, uh, you could tra- trace it by the number. But these, um, according to the article, didn't have. So maybe it was like costume. It's a lot of fishy little Maybe there was cosplay this, huh? going yeah. on. You know? <laughs> yeah, cosplay. She was, ah! she was driving back was from the costume cosplay. party yeah. and uh, fell asleep at the wheel. Sure. Two-minute break. <laughs> we got to now. No, no. We uh, I, The amount of times on the podcast where you hear me saying, drop a break, so I'll, I'll cut this out, and it's just in the final podcast. So let's have a break, guys. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I was looking at some uh, technology predictions for 2019. Yes, I was indeed. Um, <laughs> and some things have piqued my interest. But, uh, a couple of them. Have you seen like these uh, these drones that are like big enough for a human to to get inside? So they like they look like drones, they like with the four airplanes. with the four like right. was, uh, <laughs> propellers on them. Yeah, but it's going to be like. Uh, a grab or online, you can like order one, and it and they can right now they can do thirty minutes with the like the electric power. They wow. can take you on a thirty minute journey. They, they were unveiled in New, in Dubai this week. Right, mad right? Can you imagine loads of those shits flying around Bangkok, <laughs> man? Yeah, I just saw that actually today on the internet. It's actually quite new. I saw it today, and they said that they're going to put them in full function. You know, you saw one guy riding it. It said mm. police, of course. You know, police always get everything first, but. Yeah, it's quite interesting, you know, this flying shit, you know. I bought a drone uh, for Christmas for my kids and uh, just a phone drone. Um, but the problem is, I think I was talking to someone about this and they said there's, there's, a, there's a piece of uh, kit that you can make at home just using uh, like an old mobile phone battery and a couple of bits of copper or something. And it just, it breaks um, all, all drones. Like the connection to it? Yeah, like, like it's you, a power circuit breaker or something. The, so uh, if you've got humans flying around, it could be really dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, um, but, but there it is. You see that? Wow. Oh, my gosh. Flying so, taxi service. Wow. So what, I mean, at what point do we just call that like a helicopter? What, what, what makes it a drone? <laughs> well, I think cause it looks like a drone. Yeah. <laughs> it's electric. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a drone, smells like a drone. Yeah, it's, it's a drone. It's but it's so is, it, is there a pilot sitting in there driving or is no. it literally like... It's no be, pilot. That's yeah. what makes uh, it a drone, okay, I guess. Okay. Remote oh, pilot. Yes, you're okay. right. Yeah, drone. Yeah, Remote exactly. pilot. Remote, remotely piloted. But so it's going to be a grab for drones. Exactly. Okay. But okay. imagine those flying around what, like What could Bangkok. possibly go wrong? What could possibly go well, wrong? Yeah. Everything. Think of that, like hacking implications to that too. Like if somebody, some nefarious actor got into 
hijack situation, it, kidnap, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kidnap and ransom. Just take you for a wild ride. <laughs> You're going up. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. You just start going out towards like Bangnar or something. Yeah, rice to be, fields. Yeah, and you're thinking, holy shit, what's going on there? You land in some like in gangsters' back garden. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me a Bitcoin hotkeys, quick. Uh, but another one I, I thought was pretty cool, and I'm not a gamer, so I don't give a shit about this really, but I thought it was pretty cool. Like, uh, It's like Netflix for games. So you buy like a monthly subscription and you can get, I mean, t- does anyone here play video games? I don't. Uh, so. When I go back home, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I play Xbox One, Gears of War. It's a third person player game. Yeah. Multiplayer. So I, th- I thought that one was pretty cool. And, and the other one I thought was pretty cool was folding screens. Samsung yeah, got this I saw that. With, like, Foldables. Yeah. 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 Um, but that, that, I feel like I need to see that to really understand it because like, uh, I don't know I think right. I haven't wrapped my head around what right. that would actually mean you know I think I might be able well, to I saw, I saw this curry it. it looked like a Korean chick just tripping out on it she just kept full. well it comes with like a <laughs> comes with like a lock on on the back side so it's able to that but the screen is absolutely foldable but it comes yeah. with a lock so you're able to do that and she's just like flipping it back and forth like go. 10 times this Korean girl just could, <laughs> couldn't handle herself yeah. when she's on <laughs> yeah well, I think so it probably had an orgasm. Is all this from that like CES thing that was in Vegas last week? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm but there's look. a race between two, isn't there? I think Samsung have it, and the other Chinese company, Huawei. Huawei, Huawei. Huawei. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, they're coming out with the foldable as well. I they're very much always in the news. Uh, they they definitely stole that from America. It's <laughs> <laughs> the big news here, though. <laughs> yeah, they they fucking. Well, it's not just the America that's accusing them about that now. I saw Poland just uh, arrested, Poland. R- arrested one of their executives when they were traveling there. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's a good image, Willie, actually. But, yeah, that, I thought that was pretty... No, I saw a good... Oh, there you go. One. There's one. Uh... <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> But also you have all this smart this technology, don't you? Like the smart fridge where you can have an argument with your with your refrigerator about what you're allowed to eat <laughs> and what you're not allowed to eat. And it's all like linked smart up to Smart belt apps. as well. Smart, smart belt. belt, band. Yeah. Um, what, what does the belt do? It tells you when you're full, basically, like you don't fucking know yourself. But it, it basically <laughs> yeah. says stop eating because there's pressure on or it. it has yeah. a I know you're down there. Stop talking, god damn it. <laughs> you're getting like you fat. sat around a dinner table and, you know, you hear a little sort of like do voice you, and don't know, stop eating. Do you think it's possible where <laughs> in maybe like 10, 15, 20 years, we're going to get to a point where like like there will be like like a, almost like a fork in the road of like people that want to keep pursuing this technology and then people that just want to like – live more hippies you know like the hippie movement like gains a bunch of steam you know in like 100 sure. x's and like it's almost like there's these two competing like ways to live or something and it's less you know out there on the fringes well the more smart, i sort of feel that coming the, a little the, the bit the more kind of smart devices you have around you i think the less smart you're gonna be right I right that's gonna it's, <laughs> it's not evolution it's devolution yeah. right so i think the people that resist the, these types of technology and i, I resisted a, a smartphone for ages yeah yeah i didn't want one and then it got to a point where i had to have a smartphone to operate my bank account yeah and i yeah. need a bank account to work and feed the family see, so see, i had right, to get yeah. a fucking smartphone. you see james in 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 sort of a mirror to what you were in in the opposite to what you were i was one of those Stupid cunts with a fucking had to have the what, one, of those one. Pen, yeah. one of those pen things with a full <laughs> with a full video, and you could do like five second video, and it was totally useless. Yeah, and like all my friends were like, "What is that big sort of thing in your pocket?" And I got it because you could get five second Premier League clips on it. Like it was like <laughs> two thousand and fucking yeah. five or something. I looked a right prick. Well, it's like I think everything's a fad lately. You know what I mean? Like everything comes out, and then mm, everybody loves it. Foldables. You know what I mean? Like. You go back, yeah. like, I used to have one of those phones where it was called the T-Mobile Sidekick. You ever heard of that <laughs> yeah, thing? Yeah, I do remember that. This, this phone used to be, like, a handheld phone, and then you'd, you'd like, flip it. You, you flip the thing up, and the screen goes, Chick! and it was, a, it was a full keyboard, Yeah, well, which is, like, specifically for texting-type deal. You know what I mean? The internet sucked. You couldn't get anything on right. it. Right. Phones back then was pretty much a texting device. But, it, like, I feel ancient now because everything is evolved, but everything is, has been such a fad. You know what I mean? Like, everything's cool, and then all of a sudden yeah. something else comes out. Like, black you know what I mean? Everybody, you know, you, you, you could still, if you I play... stuff a BlackBerry. Yeah, you play the BlackBerry tone, you know, when you get a message, everybody will recognize it because right. it, was, it was so big. And if you had Nostalgic. a BlackBerry, you were like, a, you know, one of the coolest people, you know what I mean? You were 
were a business person or something, mm. you know. Like that on the Blackberry, mm. fucking taxi on the Blackberry. Yeah. And the keys thing. were so damn small on that. Like, how do you how do you yeah. fit a thumb? You, you, your thumb could go across the entire keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's fucking I could, crazy. It's a, it's a, it should be an Olympic sport. <laughs> so why do you guys think foldab- foldable phone screens, how could that improve our life? Well, well, it's simple because you get a bigger screen, but a smaller so, unit. So, mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I could see that being cool. Like you get to something the size like of an a, iPad, but it fits in your pocket. Just like a flip yeah. top. You remember those, uh, like the Samsung ones that just flipped over? Yeah, right, like basically. a flip phone? Like yeah, a, like a, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what's yeah. going on there, isn't it, with the foldable? From yeah. one of the, do you remember the ones where you used to go like that? And f- I think that might be the same yeah, one the you're talking kick, about. Yeah, and, and then, then it had, kicks up this way. Yeah. I sort of yeah. feel like... Uh, the, it's already pretty much a perfect device until they make something like you know like leaps and bounds better like an iPhone yeah. like a quality iPhone. I must admit I've got the ten and when I hold a six or an oh, eight, man, it feels go- good actually. Really, like just the f- the yeah, weight of heavy. it or something. It's quite yeah. heavy, you know. Wow, that's a ten. I've never mm. seen one of these damn things. I'm I'm starting to get old. Yeah, <laughs> but it's weird because it's got no button on it, so you have to like do that to like. Well, it's facial recognition. So what, what, what do you see? Because I, I still have the iPhone. I have the iPhone 6. Yeah, not my, even 6, I think 6 a 6S. I have a 6. Have no, I'm not compelled at all to upgrade. Me neither. It, it's why. a working They're device. Good. You know what yeah. I mean? Why, why upgrade to, you know, to something yeah. when, it, when it works? You know, as they say. I, yeah. I, I went Chinese. Because I, 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 I do a new, news, newsletter for this uh, company that distributes tech gear in Thailand. And uh, they're always raving about Xiaomi. Xiaomi, yeah. Um, That's what most and people... And I, I researched it. It's got a Apple. really good camera. It's almost yeah. like a 4K camera. And um, it has this Snapdragon engine and the um, smart battery technology. So you plugged it in, charge it for an hour, and you've got a full, full day. You know? yeah. Wow. So it's, and it's cheap. My, it's only like 6,000 bucks. Uh, my, one of my 6, boss had a new, yeah. he had a new Huawei, and he said his lasts for like two and a half days. Wow. Yes. Yeah, if, you're not, if you're not watching videos like, and stuff, you get two I days. I have yeah. to like stress to get through a day with this. Right. Too, yeah. 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 I, I invariably charge in the middle of the day. So right. And somewhere. you're always like managing it, you know? You're paying for the brand, aren't you, with Apple, I feel. And, exactly. and it's, it really it's like is, a comfort yeah. thing, too. Like, I'm just so used to the software, and I feel like I'm getting old, and I don't want to relearn shit, you know? Well, yeah. Apple stock actually took a big hit. I don't know, it was in the past year or something like that because they came out saying that uh, the batteries were designed to fail within a yeah. certain amount of time. Uh, that, was a big, that was big. And, yeah. and, and, the, and, the, and the, the, the dedicated Apple fans who were like there in the line for like you know, two days in camps, you know, they, they oh, were, they God, were really, you gotta be a they proper were, loser right. to still be camping out for iPhones. <laughs> right. But I mean, like, uh, you know, it's, it was a big shock to them. Like, wow, Apple's trying to fuck us. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I had a friend of mine who, yeah. uh, like we didn't know who had, right. who had yeah. uh, iStore rage recently. He, he, this, uh, connection cable to his, I think it's his laptop. Um, <laughs> Or, or it's a battery charger or something, but he kept getting new ones and they weren't working. And then he had to go back and get new ones. And he got to a point where he went to the store and he, he, he shoplifted. He just saw he saw <laughs> he saw this cable in front of him and some kind of primal instinct just took over. Wow. And he grabbed it. I'm jealous. Yeah, he grabbed it and he ran out of the shop. Sounds now the fun. problem with the Apple store is they have their own security in there. So he ah. got followed out of the shop and out of the shopping mall. He got on a motorcycle taxi. The two security guards got on another bike and chased him and he had wow. to go and give it back in the end. He got caught. Dude, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> wow. How old is he? Like and an adult. Press right? charges? How old is he? <laughs> that's did the first did he get like in criminal trouble, or they just? I think he back? had to make a very sincere apology. He had to give a why, <laughs> <laughs> a deep why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the Apple uh, people there, you know, like I oh, mean, I mean, yeah, he had Apple rage. He was so because yeah. you got no choice. You're stuck with them, right? Yeah, you got to use their right. products. You're you host. Know. You're screwed. Yeah. Have you guys been to the Icon Sam uh, Mall yet? No, I thought no. about going. Uh, yesterday. I, I, I went there twice, and they have the big Apple store there. Yeah. And it's 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 fucking huge, man. It's like a it's almost like a mini Apple warehouse there. It's like they got every Apple device you can think of there, and it's like you know you people are there like me. You know, I just go in there to see what the hell it looks right. like. I mean, I, their stores I, are always like pretty beautiful to right, check out, yeah. right? And especially being there, and they have an open window where you can see the you know. It, they, they, they set it up just perfectly for, an environment. for people it's just a to great just go in there and of, buy uh, shit. It's creating you know? like an incredible brand, though. You know, it's like an experience. As they say with Apple, it's an yeah. experience. You know what I mean? So when you go in an Apple store, it's like, you know, you have these big, you know, ceilings and the view of the yeah. river. and Super you know, well thought out, yeah. 
It's crazy because for, for you know, actually they have a lot of Apple phones in Laos. And that's they what you're them. paying for when you right. buy the device. Yeah. You're paying for those well, architects for those and right. those, right, those right, designers. Right. It's just interesting the concept of a brand, a brand where your technology is no better than somebody like Huawei or arguably worse. But they're able to create this it's wonderful brand. In, it's isn't wonderful, it? yeah. and it has been for it's, it's decades. An you know? It's right. an illusion. You yeah. have the iPhone ten. Have you had an iPhone previously? Yeah, since so, fall. Okay, so uh, what are the differences that you see with the iPhone ten that is worth? Uh, what are they almost over a thousand dollars? Every time I see them on buy and sell, they're like thirty five thousand baht. Yeah, they're you know crazy, I mean? expensive, they're crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. I don't think it's progressed that far since the six. Me neither. Really. Yeah. All they got rid of is it's a full screen now, so you have to do that. You know, to like it's incrementally press better button, you, and like yeah. functions great and nice camera. And but uh, I'm sure if I sat down and thought software, about it, it's the same software, right? I mean, the software yeah. is what's important. If I sat right. down and thought about it for 30 minutes, I'm sure I could give you like five things that are right. better. But right now, off the top, but see, there, the, the thing, the thing like is, that you have to sit down and think about it. So it's so minuscule. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not like you know, like it should be. You know, I actually seen well, online where they they want to do like a projection screen or something. Yeah, that's what they would have came out. I feel like this, as it is constituted right now is like just nothing's progressing that much with phones like it's right. going to take another i don't know maybe it's bendable screens or something see, I, I just thought of something that's really cool um uh, projectors you mentioned projectors yeah for phones. mini projectors um yeah. as a good item to have for 2019 if you get they get to the point where you, you can, can buy them now though right you can James? buy them now they're really cheap are they like right but they've never haven't really taken off right to the point where people are using them um yeah you know, well, they should just on have bed. one built into your phone right i was thinking about that right. Right. Yeah, it was right. easy to use them and they were small and stuff like I, that seems you like just, ooh, just watch pop a up movie a TV you know, right just here. watch a movie on the ceiling or on, yeah. the, on the wall or whatever and then it'll be 3d like the princess yeah. leia thing you know like, <laughs> just like you've got your phone like that and it's just like <laughs> oh, <laughs> princess we're going back to yeah. 3d interactive <laughs> porn aren't we <laughs> yeah in fact there's been some tremendous um uh uptake in like uh sex doll uh, technology. I, I oh, this took, a, this took a turn. Sex doll, like proper, <laughs> actual physical proper dolls. Do you think yeah. this is the year oh, for the like sex a doll? robot? Could be. But I did yeah, see some news on really this. I did see some news. What does yeah. it cost? Do they cook? Be expensive. Well, oh, very well, expensive. The thing is, I think pleasure always somewhere, costs. I think maybe somewhere in America, like Texas, something. There's a sex doll. In brothel. my mind, it's like always Japan. I don't know why. I just feel like those little Japanese. I think guys. you're right. Every time I think of a sex doll coming out, it comes <laughs> Japan comes to mind. What stages our species got to when? Uh, you know, you're buying plastic facsimiles. Yeah. Well, if, you, if, you go, <laughs> if you go back to the social aspects, especially like places like Tokyo, the place is fucking huge, man. It's like 35 million people. It's fucking huge. So like to have these, to have this much amount of people in one area, to have a social interaction with a woman, like how do you, you know, us yeah, as men already have, it? everybody have, well, I mean, that is true to a certain aspect where if you have confidence, but some people lack confidence. Mm -hmm. So when you're, when you're, when you're in a place where there's so many people, you're like, how do I approach a girl? And then, you know, mm -hmm. you're just like, well, I just buy a fucking sex doll and I just get rid of all that and maybe I'll find a wife someday. You know what I mean? It's, there's so many people in one place. It's, yeah. Uh, listen to this. The future is a weird place. I'm sure it is. And as anxiety <laughs> producing fiction, anxiety producing fiction, like Blade Runner and Westworld show, um, Black Mirror, uh, it's because of technology. If you're not a sci fi person, though, you may be unprepared for the reality, reality that will soon be descended upon us, signified by three little words sex, robot, brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Last month, Toronto based company Kinky S Dolls announced that following up a successful following a successful launch in Canada's most popular city, they will be expanding to the US, specifically in Houston. So what is a sex robot brothel? Are we talking AI here oh, or God. just uh... No, it's an actual physical robot. It's already happened. It happened in the eighties where like if, you had these bathhouses where you just went in and you know, you know, had sex with someone in the bathhouse. That's it is, you just stick your it, cock is in a it, hole. it is it is without the AIDS or HIV go. involved. See that? <laughs> the so they look pretty good actually. There you go. You see these? There you go. I don't. I don't prefer women in red hair. If I had to <laughs> either good though, right? invest money into like a, a VR type simulation like that, or like physical dolls, I think VR is more the future of like. But have you seen kinky. Westworld? I haven't. I've wanted oh, to. I just haven't brilliant. It. Imagine a perfectly formed human being that feels is warm, yeah. everything, but is completely beautiful. 
and you can fuck them. And they don't care how ugly and fat you are. I think it's all, I think it's going to be so hard to get that like innate humanness that we can all like you know not like not like the a connection, dead, fi- dead the con- fish look the, in their the eyes. The connection. I mean, even though right. you're having sex but, with a prostitute, there's still a human to human connection. There. Maybe they'll yeah. be able to use, figure out those ones and zeros though. You could use like algorithms and AI technology in the future, so you could program your um, sex doll to be into the same sort of stuff as you. So if you're into like oh, Canadian, shit, a perfect storm. Canadian baseball or something. <laughs> They invented baseball, I I think. Uh, (laughs) Ice hockey, ice hockey. Um, You could just hit a button, or you could, you know, you could program it, and you could talk about like football scores and stuff like that. You know, I think that's the way it's going to go. Well, they're talking about these robots having micro LEDs on the body as well, so you can you can three D map like Jennifer Aniston. I don't know why I thought of her first, (laughs) but like anyone's an interesting choice. Um, She is still hot because the the three D like like skin pigments they're that tiny that you can just basically map like another person i mean they'd have to change shape slightly wouldn't they so i'm not quite sure how it works but maybe put a wig on and then you change the, <laughs> i don't know but apparently that's it and then they can that that they can change like you know I, their skin getting i think of, i think i think having a good imagination rosy. and wanking will take care of that yeah <laughs> i like the way you use wanking i mean that's a truly british old, term old school <laughs> I mean, people don't use their imagination anymore, do they? That's the problem. They just the last time, they, the last they log I, on to the last time I masturbated porn. purely with imagination was a, I can't even remember now. <laughs> oh shit! Just purely, just like it's actually quite difficult. You've got to use it. I have, use it. I have tried it, and yeah. and you know, yeah, but I don't think it di- it didn't used to. I mean, be, I've right? just got my. Yeah. Oh, come my on, phone we're all men, you know. I, I watch porn sometimes, you know, you know, Pornhub, you know, uh, I you watch know, it all the time. So, uh, you, you, but actually, if you're you're thinking about someone you're trying to wank to and, and <laughs> actually wanking, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's it, actually quite difficult to get a nut. It's dude, actually quite dude, difficult. you're fucking right. In my day, you used to imagine people you knew, like coworkers or people at school. <laughs> yeah, like you used to, <laughs> the hottest so girl in school. You used to like close your eyes and like think of this person, and then you know start yeah, like yeah. Um, knocking one out. But nowadays, it's like a you've got a face of a porn star and you might find like a porn star that looks similar to someone that you know and you think, okay, right, I, can, right, right. I can like project her face onto that. Kind of what, right. what do you think about, uh, what was it, November or one month where people, no, not November, where people oh, try man. to go a month that without is, uh, That is at, fucking crazy. Porn. You do not, you end up having wet you, yeah, no, 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 you do not want to do that. Men are designed, we, we are, as Joe Rogan put it, we are uh, semen factories. We, we, <laughs> Joe Joe Rogan said this. We are a factory machine of making sperm. It it you know so we got this place where it goes and it's like a a, a UPS. Got to get rid of it. It's a UPS I, factory I, I and it it has to it has to go somewhere. We're designed for this to 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 impregnate women. We're designed to uh you know breed and and when you're not doing that. God, you I've get so, so many built of, up of emotions who don't who who actually particularly in the military and uh, I'm sure there was I think it's American guy who wrote a blog or is an interview or something but he was saying um, he would it's like if you if you um, if you don't uh, sleep for a long time you start like um, dreaming in the waking state right you know you start having hallucinations like verbal uh, audio and visual hallucinations he would say he'd be sitting on the can. You know, in the toilet, and he'd get like spontaneous um, ejaculations. You know, he would just <laughs> he, he said he couldn't actually stop. You know, wow, wow. And I mean, the, awesome. The brothers in the monkhood must have to deal with this. Um, yeah, in places like Thailand. Well, right? yeah, God. Apparently, God. God takes care of your sort of sexual needs by giving you these dreams where you just come all over. You know, I have m- my wife laughs at me because I probably have two wet dreams a month. Wow! Probably. Wow! Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and so you say, you so you'll be you'll be sleeping and you just jizz all over her leg yeah. or something. Well, or? it's normally it's <laughs> normally in the morning after she's got up, and the only reason she knows is because I've changed my shorts. Oh. So, so, so she walk back into the room and she she look in the basket and she will go, oh. like she'll smile at me and start laughing. I'll say, yeah, yeah, I had another one. <laughs> She, find, she, I think she quite likes it. I haven't had wet dreams in a, in a very really? long time, probably I since preteens. I, yeah, that's you know that's why I'm you know not. Let me when was get, last time Willie? A long time. I mean, I don't even like. Is it that noticeable? Like, I, I can't even really remember what it's like. I, I, should, ch- I should check and my you, draws you more often, right? Really, yeah, right. <laughs> and you always wake up like it's kind of happening. then. It's been a while. Then, yeah, I think it Gents? has been. 
Never have. Not one. that I'm judging never. you. Never, never, have never. Have not I'm even not, preteen or anything not like that. Experienced this no. <laughs> unless it was. I just didn't know. Right. I'm sort of. Maybe I just didn't know. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. It could happen where you don't know and it dries off in your pants. But yeah. there's some crust. Some crust. Yeah, I've, I've had some very, you know, Husky. very lucid dreams where I've woke up, you know, and stuff's been going on. But yeah, um, no, I can't remember. Some crust. Mm. Mm. Husky shit. Well, that's, 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 that's a lot of crust going on in general in your teenage years, you know. <laughs> well, that's the thing is that like I'm, you know, I'm fortunate to have a girlfriend who has a high sec drive. So like we when, when we have a week because you know, we live far apart. I live in Lad Prow. She lives here in Udom Sook, so it's very far apart. So we spend the weekend together, and she has a high sex drive. Like she's waking me up at three in the morning for sex. How many so, times do you do it in like a forty eight hour weekend? Uh, in, in a weekend, we can have sex upwards of like. 11 12 times yes. jesus christ yeah, put it yeah she 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 Bye. she I, i'm 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 okay with it you know what i mean because you know we're being honest here when when i was growing up in my 20s and 21 and you know i'm 28 now i was always trying to be in a relationship and i couldn't be in a relationship and i mm. felt like i couldn't have sex with girls unless i was in a relationship mm. so i went on a pretty dry spell as like 23 24 mm. years old so now that i'm 28 and i have a girlfriend who likes to fuck a lot is she I, listening I to you know, I'm like, mm. you know, I'm like in the prime of my life at 28 when it should have been at 21. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so like, uh, you know, so it, it's been good, you know, and then on weekdays, just, you know, pop one off, you know, at, when I get home from work, you know, and yeah. go to do bed. Do, you know? <laughs> in, in, instead of like, instead of the dollar being uh, gold backed, it should be like semen backed. Uh, because <laughs> Go on, go on. Um, well, because, you know, semen especially as we move like forward into the future where people are gonna I think start having babies less I think semen could be like the new currency quite quite yeah like <laughs> like you you go into like the 7-eleven into the bank into the sperm bank <laughs> yeah yeah or you go into 7-eleven uh, the sperm bank will be the bank and, yeah. and, and, and you want like a Mars bar or something so you've just, just gotta like just crack one off dribble <laughs> Or just maybe come or like a little bit of pre-ejaculate. Well, or something I mean, I, I, I have to get a little, you know, sorry, semi dark here, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> like we have. I, I watched a video today about a, a, a researcher. I forgot his name, but he he was a, a very prominent researcher on 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 vaccines such as measles, uh, AIDS, and all this all these things. And he was asked about uh, whether they have tested on fetuses, you know, human fetuses, you know, because testing on humans is actually illegal in the United States. You can't test on... And he openly admitted that in one study, he tested 75... Aborted fetuses. Aborted fetuses. Wow. Taking... taking that doesn't surprise taking, me. Taking... And he says, look... <laughs> Of course, uh, you know, someone deflects it, deflects it from him. He says, my colleagues said that we took uh, heart cells, liver cells, well, all these don't things. Don't take stem cells from them as well? To yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's it's one of these things that oh. people don't want to know it's happening, but it is happening. You know what I mean? That's why abortion is a weird place because, you know, with this Planned Parenthood shit, you know what I mean? Their their fetuses are actually going to a, a, to a place where it's like, actually yeah. could be tested and well, they don't well, know those it. videos that surfaced online about planned parenthood that you know this apparently it was apparently it was bullshit but a few people say it was real that there was this video when right. when they were like digging through like these piles of like baby arms and shit right. and they were saying that they could, they could sell these this part for this much and this part right. for this much but it got debunked apparently uh, right. by snopes or someone like that but Look, where, I, I where get, did you see that just, I don't know. I, 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 re I, rem I remember the video. same the same videos. They had a a conservative group coming on and and an interview in Planned Parenthood, actual high uh, high ups. Yeah. And uh, they, they 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 came out with it, and they they, they were saying at first, you know, it's just like uh, they were trapped in this question. You know, I don't know. I've seen the videos, but you know. At that same point, you know, what I mean, it's politics. Like, what kind of part do you play in this politics? You know, what I mean, like. You see it, you can make an outcry about it, but in the end, it's blanketed. We move on like it has been. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I think that about everything, man. Like any scandal, any kind of fucking shit that goes on. Just, I think, like the people who perpetrate this shit just rely on like time. You know, people just forget about stuff, don't yeah, you? Like nine eleven. Well, nine eleven actually, people aren't forgetting about that, but. 
you know, p- people but, move on, don't they? Do it's... you think if nine eleven, ha- well, nine eleven was so massive, but but uh, the just the news cycle, like you said, it's just shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. Yeah, exactly. Just, news cycle. That's, there's that's, always that's say, other yeah. shit coming in. I remember nine eleven quite vividly. I was in sixth grade. And I came into school, and they had it up on, you know, the, you know, back in the, you were from the United States, Will. Yeah. They rolled in the TV. When You know, when they rolled in the TV, it was a good day. They, but they, that the day. Fat back, the TV with the fat back and the yeah, video they, under, they didn't cancel school. They canceled school for Challenger explosion back in, what, 89 or something like that. But you September were, 11th. Were you in school? In I was, I was, I was, well, no, no, no. I'm saying that they did it for that time. Uh, uh, but because I, I watched documentaries on it. But, uh. Um, for September 11th, we sat there and watched it, man. Like I, I went to school at seven, eight o'clock. So we watched the planes hit the tower and we're like sixth mm. grade. Like, man, that could be fucking traumatizing to a kid. You know what I mean? Like mm. watching, yeah. watching this shit. I remember my friend, you know, we're since we're on September 11th, my friend came over to my house and we, we used to ride bikes to school. You know what I mean? Like we had BMX bikes and he came over one morning. He came over one morning. He's like, man, did you fucking hear that they're, they're, they're crashing planes into buildings? And I was like, Oh, what is this? A fucking stunt or something? You know what I mean? It didn't yeah. make any sense. Right. You know, I was Up like, until that point, yeah, like, they, like they, you know, it's a stunt or something. You know, you don't even, you can't even fathom. You know what I mean? And then I went to school, and on the TV, you're seeing fucking planes smashing into these fucking skyscrapers. It was you're like, confusing. You, you, it? yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't understand yeah. it, and and you don't really fully understand it until you you see it on the newspaper. It's the newspapers is what got me. It said mm. attacked. Right. And the it's media, like the media new... played the media played that up hard. I mean, it should. Three thousand Americans died, but the media was like, you know, the driver of that shit. Attacked. We are, we are at war. Almost we are, as if it we was are pre-planned. Right. right, right. That's what I'm saying. Look, <laughs> conspiracy fucking theories. But I mean, like on the papers, it says attacked. It doesn't say. Uh, uh, you know, th- there was struck. Th- yeah, yeah, struck. There, we don't, we don't Accident. understand, we don't understand mm-hmm. the full things. But what I remember vividly from from that time is they knew who the fuck did it. They knew the fucking hijack, the hijackers' names. Yeah. They knew everything within a fucking week. Well, they found some of the hijackers, with, like even passports the, in the rubble, didn't right, they? Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, even within the day, <laughs> and they had condition. Man, it just was fucking. Right. It was just too. It was just too. If you think about it, it's too coincidental that you knew everything within the first week that it right happened. Away. They just knew these are the sixteen hijackers. We, we we heard about them before. We knew about them, but uh, unfortunately, our security service wasn't good enough to you know yeah. get them through. It's funny because we talked to, to somebody earlier today, kind of along similar lines. I just wasn't analyzing it at that level. I was too young, as you right, were right, too. right. I was, I was too. Like, what the fuck is going on? But when you get thought. older, you right, you actually you, you to... actually you digest it. And I remember quite yeah. fully that they knew all sixteen hijackers mm-hmm. in the first fucking week. These guys are from Saudi Arabia. Like, do you know someone in fucking Saudi Arabia? No. <laughs> like the the you know we 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 had a we had a feeling they had a hunch they were taking aviation classes and all this shit. If you yeah. fucking knew this much information about them, why didn't you screen them? Why didn't you? And it just is like, well, uh, you know, and then uh, you know we put all our anger on another country instead of putting anger on ourselves for not actually realizing it, and that's the uh, that's the tragedy of the well, situation. What, what people don't realize is in all the gold and uh, talking about gold again, but like in the basement of the twin towers, there was a shitload of gold. No shit, and all that went missing. Wow. Know. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. That's fucking crazy. But anyway, look, I think, uh, yeah, we're getting to the end. It's. I'm sorry, mate. I I could talk to you all night, Jordan. It's been (laughs) been lovely. It's been great. We've had a good time tonight. You know, I've I've had a good banter with you, gentlemen. Um, Yeah. So, Jordan, if people want to get hold of you, any uh, parting thoughts? Yeah, any parting thoughts? No, you know, I've I've just recently gotten into podcasting. I've uh, watched a lot of Joe Rogan. you know, I just like banter. You know, I like yeah. sitting down with people and just bullshit. And you know uh, what and, I mean. And, and what would you say to to someone who wants to come on our show and and feels like they should come on just a normal dude like you? It's cool, right? It's a good environment yeah. to talk. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, you just have to be an open minded person. You know what I mean? You, yeah. you you come in here and you you listen to people and you know it's for the most chat, part, isn't it? for them, yeah, it's just a, it's just a chat. And you know, unfortunately, in our day and age, let me slim this down a little bit. We don't have enough ge- genuine conversations with people. Yeah, everything, sure. everything is just so on the on the top. Hey, what's your name? 
where are you from? Oh, cool. See you, la- see, see you yeah. later. And you don't get a contact. You don't yeah. have this uh, connection with people. If you know it, what I mean? If I didn't do this podcast, I'd never really have any probably deeper, meaningful conversations <laughs> yeah. with anyone. I would right. have no social life it's, at all. It's, it's, really really right. it's, it's hard to sit down with somebody for more than like 15 minutes right. and get their full Everything attention. Everything is you know? just so... Everyone should just have podcasts. Go and have a podcast with your fucking friends on a Thursday Actually, night. Actually, we, should, we yeah. should market it, the, um, mm. the podcast kit. Yeah, that you, you can exactly. you can buy for your own family. And it's cheap. <laughs> like, hey, do you feel like you have a lack of Should meaningful we have, conversations? We, we, in, in exactly, exactly. Exactly. We never talk together, but now we have the podcast kit, just in time for Christmas. <laughs> Set it and forget it. <laughs> uh, yeah, podcast kit. So, Jordan, uh, can people get oldie on social media or anything? Uh, like that? Do you want people to? Yeah, I mean, why not? You can search me up on Jordan Perez on Facebook. But, uh, you know, I plan on coming back if you guys yeah. invite me back for a sure. nice banter next, again. Next week, you know man. what I mean? Like, <laughs> no come, doubt. come stop by the bar, have some drinks. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah. No, name, you're welcome, mate. Uh, what is it? Uh, check in 99 here. Yeah, it's check a, in 99. Yo! Uh, first, Good first, first, first time here. Um, I love the bar. I've already met, you know, met Jerry outside for a smoke. You know, he's from Australia and he's a good guy. So mm. there's some good. Seems like a really good bar, and you know, if you're stopping along the BTS, stop along Prong Pong, and come down to check in 99. He's doing a better job. Yeah, soy 33. You're the yeah, soy 33. Man, Willie, where, where can people get all of you? Uh, Twitter at Willie Delius. Come find me, tweet at me. Um, outside the bar, stumbling around most <laughs> nights of the week, and Twitter, James Newman BKK. He is truly like the old James. Yeah, uh, yeah you can get all of us uh, at Strange Life This on Twitter and Instagram, at This Strange Dot Life on the Tinter web. And uh, email us at this strange life podcast at gmail.com and you can get hold of me on Twitter at crypto Mickey. Come out for a beer sometime. Let's let's have a beer and have yeah, a good conversation. It doesn't oh. even have to be on the on the, on the set, man. Yeah. Let's just let's just exactly. have a let's just have a chat. And know? we have a little Discord chat room as well. Uh, John, you should come in and talk as well because nobody talks anymore. Uh, <laughs> all right, peace out. Love you. Bye bye. Yep, cheers. Mm-hmm. Bye bye.
icons, fuck the icons. Icons should be icons, shoot the icons, fuck the icons. Icons should be icons, shoot the icons, fuck the icons. Icons should be icons, shoot the icons, fuck the icons. Icons should be icons, shoot the icons, fuck the icons. <laughs>